Hi, my name is Valerie Turin. Oh my God, that's what is our presentation? Yeah, uh, my name is Valerie Turin, and today we will speak on Amazon Alexa for healthcare. We will have a uh, catch up in our today's agenda. Uh, what is Amazon Alexa? Uh, technical presentation of engineering experience with Alexa and AWS, and what can Alexa bring to healthcare applications? So we'll start what is with overview of what is Amazon Alexa. Alexa is a virtual assistant technology and it was first used in Amazon Echo smart speaker and then in Echo Dot and some other devices developed by Amazon. It is capable of solving many NLP tasks starting from speech recognition to identifying music, providing voice information, sports strings, etc. Later, users got the possibility to extend the functionality of this device. The first domain for the device was a smart home, which then expanded to many other domains, including healthcare. The first thing I've prepared for today is a general architecture diagram of extension for Amazon Alexa, which we will speak in on today. On the left side, you can see a general client uh, for using Amazon Alexa, which is Echo Point, it's a kind of special device right now, the Echo Point, but it can be different other devices. It can be separate mobile application for Alexa, and also you can embed Alexa into your mobile application. The skill, which is an extension of Alexa capabilities and what you are delivering from technical perspective is AWS Lambda, which is well known for your engineers and everyone who are working together with AWS. The good thing that out of the box, it already integrated with Amazon CloudWatch for observability purposes and with Amazon DynamoDB as a persistent store. And one more very important thing is that all this infrastructure you can deploy for in a sandbox for testing, but later for production, you can also deploy it inside your AWS account. What benefits it can bring, we will discuss a little bit further in the presentation. Then how generally it works when user is using a kind of mobile application or device and triggering your skill for doing some business logic. Usually you are changing <coughs> the state of your objects inside DynamoDB, which is your store. And based on these changes, you can create a stream of the changes and another resources uh, which will operate the stream and create some events or, in, or integrating with another resources and uh, start your business logic. So it's pretty simple from an infrastructure perspective. As you can see, we're using only three resources here. Moving forward, I want to share today a step-by-step -step engineering experience with developing exactly this thing, Amazon Alexa skill, and show you that it's really simple and not time consuming. The first step is up creation, which is in my case was patient's registrator to register a new patient for some general, uh, for some GP practice, and it took about one minute. The step number two is intent of business action creation and parameterization. In my case, it was onboarding patient when we onboard into general practitioner. Uh, we usually have a first visit with him, so it was for this business case. And you can see a trigger phrase for my skill is on board the patient with a name, which is parameter to doctor, doctor name, which is also a parameter at some date. And it's going to be also a parameter. In the simple case, for now, it will be only one trigger. And stopping this took about five to seven minutes, which is also quite, quite fast. The step number three is basically implementation of a skill which is AWS Lambda, what I mentioned previously. Uh, this backend implementation is just a kind of code in Python or JS or something, and it will take about two hours to two days, depends on the difficulty of your application. Um, and very cool thing that there are a lot of technologies for deploying, for infrastructure as a code for deploying and observability of your code and skills. In my example, I was using several layers because I'm knowledgeable with this system. You can use any others. So basically, after two hours, I've got not only a code, but also 
uh, the cool star for deploying this code and observing this code in, in the cloud. The step number four is the backend verification and automation because, of course, we are delivering high quality software. We cannot just write something, cover it with unit test, and push to production. And the good thing here is that on the right side, on this screenshot, you may see an example of developed by Amazon QA, QA framework and for end to end testing of your skills. You can use your voice recognition. You can provide your free message, which I did uh, to Alexa, and you can provide a JSON API call and trigger the execution of your skill. So you can see here that I ask in Alexa simulator, hey, Alexa, can you register, ask patient registrator to onboard Valerie Turin to Dr. Alex? which is to our parameters, my name and doctor name at 9 of November 2023. And basically Alexa got my request to my skill, which is patient registrator. And here on the left side at DynamoDB, you can see some of my test data. So it's really actually coming to DynamoDB. On the bottom side, you also may see uh, how it looks from API perspective um, to for your better integration. The amount of time I've spent was really lower than I expected initially because I was a little bit afraid to play with the speech recognition that I've spent a lot of time on end-to-end -end testing, but really glad to see that Amazon was thinking not about only coding, but also about the whole ecosystem of delivery for the developers who are using that. And that's why I've spent the same amount of time as engineering, about two hours, on testing or end to end this whole thing. Step number five, as I mentioned before, I've started my prototype with only one trigger, but in real life, because you will have, you need to tune your voice recognition model to have a better user experience for your customers because you can use uh, different utterances, you can use different parameters, uh, you may. Uh, want to play around localization, etc. And it also may take some time, but everything you're doing using user interface, which is also quite simple. So you don't need to be a really high level expert in uh, voice recognition, machine learning things. Everything is quite intuitive here and using user interface within one to three days, you can play with tuning and make it really usable for your customers. And then last step is after POC step, um, you can create not only internal skills, but also skills with the monetization. So basically skill, uh, pro provide your skill as a product. And in this case, you can also think about skill distribution strategies, marketing and monetization for your deliverable item. Afterwards, speaking about my experience working with this tool for first time, so generally, it was a very positive experience. Um, Alexa provides a high quality engineering studio for writing code, for deploying it. One of my best things I've found here is a QN, QA framework for end to end testing already provided to you. And the next thing is super intuitive on each step. So even if you do not really specialist with a 10 years experience in this domain, you can create this thing. And there are three deployment tools for the serverless backend part, which is also quite nice. Um, one of prerequisites of using this technology, after all, you need for a quick implementation, you need to have some background in AWS and conversational design domain, and you should have at least some knowledge of any programming language to go to the backend part. But I think it's you know it's quite expected, it's quite nice. Um, so speaking about particular healthcare, what Alexa can do for healthcare domain. It can provide extensive help, operating cost cuts and user experience improvements in the customer support area. Basically it's registration, visit bookings, onboardings, which I've done here, uh, some forms filling, etc. It can be a preferable channel of communication for some people with disabilities. Uh, you can implement smart hospital or smart building concept, which was a first basically use case for Alexa as a technology for ECA devices. Uh, 
for example, road in big hospitals, uh, utility services management, like parking management, etc. And it, it also can help with a critical operational overhead during incidents like overhead in hospital staff during COVID-19. In, in summary, Alexa can't replace medical staff, but it can help with communication, which is a goal of Alexa. Benefits of using this solution from a technical perspective. Uh, as I mentioned initially, Alexa's backend can be deployed into your AWS account, which means that after the request from user is routed to your backend, it is possible to do all actions inside a private perimeter, which means significant security risking. The routing between client application and backend implementation of your skills is provided by Amazon with the SDK, which means also a huge security risking for you. The backend is based on well-known AWS resources such as Lambda, DynamoDB, and CloudWatch, and you also can integrate with any other resources using Amazon SDK. And these well-known technologies mean that it's easier to find engineering resources to do this project. Integrated with the AWS ecosystem, we are actively developing SDK, means simplified coding for you and fast engineering, fast progress on your business targets. And also it's building your and delivery tool set, which means focus on quality from the beginning without losing speed using Amazon provided components. And it's designed for automation, so focus on quality and effective from the very beginning. Here I mean the possibility to deliver everything automatically using infrastructure as a code paradigm. Five benefits from using Alexa for your product you can use um, as, a, as, as an engineer, as a product owner, as an engagement manager to speak to a business to try. Why should I try using Alexa? Why should I spend time for it? The first thing is inclusivity, which means ability for some people with disabilities or discomfort to use this as a main way of communication. It's enhanced productivity for your operational staff. It's a speed of innovation. As you can see, I've created this prototype with Alexa within a few days, and it was already prepared with observability, with integration inside AWS with deployment tools. So it's mostly MVP thing you can use in your production, and it's efficient operation uh, as for IT resources and for your operational staff inside um, healthcare clinic or any healthcare services basically and of course it's the security which uh, we're talking a lot about a lot of things Alexa included into your design to make it secure and communicate in this way. So it's all for today it was really good to catch up and sharing on the experience using this technology I thank you for watching. Hope it was interesting. And in case if you have any um, questions on it, I'm ready to answer. Thank you, Valeria. I would like uh, like to remind all the listeners that you can write your questions in the Q&A window, which is in the upper right corner of your Microsoft Teams window. So I suggest we wait for a little bit, right, Valeria? in case someone is typing a question right now. So maybe you have some sort of a story left, you know, while we're waiting for the questions or we can just um, be silent. Yeah, so from my personal experience, I really would like to uh, use it more uh, in data art engineering to propose it to our customers. The two things I really can mention why why we didn't need it because there is really demand for it. So last time I was in big hospital, it was really a mess. So I have to ask my GP uh, how to pay for parking. Uh, and I don't think that it's the right way uh, to organize stuff. And there are no other people in the hospital. There are no other technologies uh, which can help me. And also I had some issues with routing. Um, so I do think that there, there is real demand on these technologies which can help with little operation, little thing here, little thing there, and Alex is really good for it. And the second important thing uh, I really noticed working with Alexa, which is quite nice for me, is the speed of innovation. Uh, I, I, I didn't expect I will be able to, to do such prototypes so quickly. So really innovate, uh, create a full production ready cycle for enterprise within one week 
it's a really good thing to do. All righty, thank you. So we got no questions, but we got a thank you to you, Valerie, for Mamma. So I guess that we can wrap up. Uh, thank you very much for listening and thank you, Valerie, for the speech. Thank you, Earl. So, yeah. Yeah, have a good bye day. Bye. bye.